All right, CMDR Horton neighborhood. This is an Easton plan instead of a Gavin plan. 1,736 square feet. Also a four bedroom, two bath. So same number of bedrooms and baths. This is just a smaller square footage by about 100 or so square feet and very close to what uh, we had um, in some of the homes that we were looking at yesterday. Um, you know, one of the things to keep in mind also as you're looking at these, if you see any little dings and stuff on the wall, these are all still in construction. And so um, certainly uh, uh, things that they're still working on. But as we start at the front of the house, you're gonna notice a much different layout here. Um, there are still rooms right up front, um, but it's a little bit more closed off, right? It's a, a smaller square footage. So this one will feel a little bit smaller. Um, as we come in, we're gonna have again, Two rooms flanked by a bathroom up front. Um, so this, uh, you know, could be again office or another room. Um, this one's fairly uh, thin. It's not too uh, too wide. It is deeper. Um, but let me get you uh, some measurements on this room while we're here. This one is uh, 10 foot by 10 six. So about 10 and a half feet by 10 feet. Um, office or bedroom, either or. Here is bathroom. This is a, a full uh, full bath. This is one of your two baths. Again, uh, tile surrounds uh, instead of insets, uh, single sink and toilet here. Uh, you'll note all of the fixtures uh, in these are also um, the uh, chrome or polished chrome. Um, same thing with all of your doorknobs. Your doorknobs will be the, the polished chrome as well. Here's uh, bedroom number two. This bedroom is uh, 10-6 on one direction and 10 feet on the other. So again, uh, similar uh, 10 by 10 rooms, 10 and a half by 10, nine and a half by 11, very similar sizes. This one has a um, reasonably sized closet. Let me pop this open since we didn't pop closets open in the cabin. Um, but again, it's just kind of a step in. It is not a walk-in closet in these second secondary bedrooms. Okay, let's take a peek. Again, uh, garage is gonna be here. And so garage is still close to the kitchen on this one. You can see garage, pretty straightforward. Again, sprinkler there in the corner. That's our sprinkler controller for the sprinkler system. This is a hot water loop. And then behind that wall, if you were looking at it from the front, it's just your hot water heater. It stays out in the garage. Okay, as we continue to come in, uh, you'll note that the uh, laundry is at the front of the, the house. This laundry is a little bit bigger than the other. Um, this one is seven foot uh, one by Seven one, so it's a square, right at about seven feet. Bedroom number two. Um, this is another uh, approximately 10 by 10, 10 foot nine inches on one wall, 10 foot three inches approximately on the other, probably 10, 10 nine by 10. Again, uh, walk-ins. Okay. Now we're coming into the main part of the house. This is gonna be your living dining kitchen. So you'll see uh, out the back window, a little different style in the east end. You've got the three broken up windows and no window over here or over here unlike the Gavin where you had the window on the side and the back. This is an example of the white cabinets with the gray backsplash and the more gray countertops or at least some of the countertops that have the gray flex in them. This is again going to be the spot where you put your uh, fridge, a little fridge dock, and then similar pantry space there. These appliances do convey, as do the fixtures, obviously all the fixtures convey. Uh, same flooring here is that uh, a luxury vinyl plank. It is in a roll, so again, similar waterproofing capabilities to what we were talking about on the uh, Easton. I'm sorry, on the Gavin. This one is the Easton. Okay, master. Master's gonna be a tiny bit smaller than the other, it looks like, I think, but not by much. This one is a 15 foot, 10 inch. I think we were 16.9 on the other one by 12.6. I think we were at about 13 on the other one. Um, these windows are not double hung, so they do not pop out like uh, uh, we've seen in some listings for cleaning, but they are uh, nice double pane windows. Master bath. We're gonna have uh, that stand-up shower that y'all were hoping for. Again, that's not a uh, insert, it is tiled. It is a tiled uh, shower surround. Nice big linen closet in the master here. Very similar sized closet in the master. Just laid out a little bit differently. One extra rail over here. All that stuff that's hanging on the wall is all your pre-wire for cable and, and things of that nature. But a good sized master closet. 
And if I'm looking at size, we're at approximately 10 foot, two inches by six foot, two inches in the closet, although it's a odd shape, it's not just a square. There is a separate water closet there uh, that does have a door. And then you do have um, obviously the uh, dual vanities in here. Same thing in here, if you've got the white counters, or I'm sorry, the white cabinets in the kitchen, you're gonna have the white cabinets in the baths as well. Uh, and then again, you could see this is a fairly sizable shower, like I'm standing in it, I can take two steps to the back. So uh, it's a, a good size shower, uh, would, would allow for a seat if you wanted to put something in like that. Okay, let me get back up front and then we will start the uh, walkthrough with just quiet so you guys can kind of get a sense for uh, what the house looks like. So I'm gonna start at the front door, bear with me just a second, let me get back up front. Okay, so we're at the front door. 